So here we're going to be cutting in a switch. When we cut in an aftermarket switch, we like to match everything with the existing home. All the switches currently are 42 inches to center. So we're going to cut in a switch right now. When we cut in these switches, we wanna make sure that we mark where they need to go so there's no mistakes made in where we're cutting. We wanna make sure that we're not hitting any studs inside of the wall because this box isn't, isn't made to go around any kind of studs. We're using this stud buddy so that we know exactly where the stud is. We don't cut into that stud. Our, our cut in box has gotta go somewhere where there's not a stud. It's not made to go around. But we're gonna measure 42 inches to center. We're gonna mark that on the wall we're gonna make sure that we draw this square so we know where we need to cut. And most importantly, we're gonna make sure we level this so that it looks nice. We wanna mark all the way around so we know exactly where we need to cut. And then we get cut. We need to make sure that we don't cut this hole too large because the box will not fit in it if we get it too large. If it's too small, we can always kind of shave around to make sure that box fits in the hole but we definitely don't want to cut it too large. These residential cut-in boxes, this screw actually turns a flap that will catch the drywall behind it and pinch it up against the drywall and hold it flush so that it doesn't wiggle, so that it stays inside the wall. The Romex will actually pinch into this little knockout and hold that Romex in place and the wires will come out here to power up the device or the switch. We're gonna put this box inside the wall. We're gonna tighten these screws, which is gonna pinch it up against the drywall and have that box sit flush. If you haven't already, please like and subscribe to our channel for more new videos. Click on the bell to get notified the second we post new content, and we'll see you next time.